some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Michigan with the sobtard known as Glenn Stringer. And if that name sounds familiar to you, well, it's because a few days ago, I did a video on him where he exposed himself, and uh, that video I'll leave a link to up in the upper right-hand corner if you want to relive that moment. But at any rate, he's awaiting trial, still in jail, and, uh, well, in this particular court session, everybody's really questioning his competency, whether or not he can actually understand anything that's going on but you know what being a soft art kind of rot your brain like that anyway so let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show stringer is here do you need to talk to your client i do not judge all right uh, let's get ready to get let me call that one really quick and then we can get to the rest of our docket uh, but um we have a limited time frame for our custody so uh, on Len Stringer, 2401173. Good morning, Your Honor. Samira Malus on behalf of the people. Good morning, Judge. For the record, David M. Sunutko appearing on behalf of Mr. Stringer. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> no, 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 sir. You are not representing Mr. Stringer because you are a... Uh, qualified lawyer who has spent many years in law school no go ahead and let the uh living man not the corporate self uh represent him because only his hours and hours of uh youtube law experience will help him out in this case all right mr stringer state your name i don't i don't acknowledge myself as one dear stringer i'm a living entity Okay, is there an, another name that you go by, sir? I'm an entity, I'm a beneficiary, so I go as a job. And I want to fire that counsel, I don't want one. All right, so um, there's, there's a, a number of things to unpack here, all right? Yeah, Judge, you can go ahead and try to unpack uh, his brainless buffoonery all you want, uh, but it comes down to the fact that uh, he's fallen for this... Uh, soft hard guru crap that uh there are secret ways to get out of uh speeding tickets and getting out of jail and committing crimes without consequence yeah just to make it simple you're dealing with a delusional moron at this point who probably does need a competency hearing let's let's walk through this um i have an individual before me um that is uh, listed as an Oakland County Jail inmate by the name of Len Stringer. Uh, I have a case uh, that's been uh, assigned to this court that uh, where the defendant's name is Len Stringer. Uh, Mr. Sanuko, you were uh, are you assigned on this case? I am, Judge. Okay, Mr. And you were assigned to the Stringer case, correct? Uh, that's correct, Judge. Okay, so that's enough for me to to conduct this hearing today. Um, now let's walk through this, um, Miss Miss uh, Mount Lewis. Um, have you provided discovery to Mr. Sanuko? Your Honor, I didn't have an attorney listed. Um, I'm gonna. I believe he, if he filed, he may have just received written discovery. Um, I didn't have that in my information, but give me one second to confirm. I'm just gonna make one click. In the meantime, I do um, have written discovery. Judge. So yeah, it says that he was provided with written discovery on June 26. Okay, so Mr. Sanuko, have you had a chance to talk to um, the defendant at all? I did, Judge. I met with him at the Oakland County Jail. All right, and so... Um, Tuesday. So, so did he make it known to you that he wished to uh, no longer proceed with your services? Judge, we, we discussed the case fully, and I had a lengthy phone call with one of his relatives, and it was my intention to ask the court to refer this to the Forensic Center for Competency evaluation. He indicated nothing to me, Judge, about not wanting me to represent him when I met with him at the Oakland County Jail. Okay. Um, I, do so, think it, I do think it, uh, given your uh, experience and then your connection with him as well as a family member, plus 
the way the defendant has presented today uh, that uh, a competency review is in order. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but uh, he's just gone way too far beyond competency, considering that he fell down the uh, soft tarred rabbit hole like the sheep he is, and now he's just outright denying reality of anything he encounters. As you will soon find out here when he opens his mouth here in the next few minutes, you will see how bad it can get. Well, not as bad as some other soft tards, but you'll definitely see it. Um, and so I'm, I'm happy to move forward with that. Um, so Mr. Stringer, there is, just so you understand, there, there has been some um, preliminary information that suggests that you may not be competent to uh, proceed at this particular time. Whether that's a correct assertion uh, is, is basically a, a decision that can only be made after uh, an investigation is done to determine whether or not you can, uh, that you understand the nature of the proceedings, that you can assist your attorney. We need to find those things out. Uh, and so, uh, Ms. Mount Lewis, can you prepare an order for competency review? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Uh, I agree. I think that that's appropriate at this time. Um, I, I, I I recognize that the defendant has made a request um, to have Mr. Sanuko uh, removed from the case based on the information, though, that I've uh, sort of observed at this time, as well as re information received by, by Mr. Sanuko. Um, I'm not, I, I, I remain unconvinced uh, that those statements are, are uh, anything other than a manifestation of what might be a competency issue. Uh, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait uh, uh, to consider that request until I can determine whether or not he's competent. If I, if I, if I would remove Mr. Sanuko. Well, now, there you go. See, your self-sabotaging behavior has led to another stumbling block in your life. Uh, you are now going to be spending another three months in jail waiting for them to do a competency evaluation on you when if you had acted like a normal damn human being during this whole thing, you probably would have had your trial already. But no, 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 no. That's not how soft tards operate. They don't want a speedy trial. They want to drag it out as much as they can just to make sure that everybody, including them, gets screwed over. Off the file. Off the file. If I would remove him off the file based on a request made by a person who's later determined to be incompetent, uh, I think that would be a real issue. Uh, and so at this point in time, I'm going to um, grant the request. What labels me incompetent? My intelligence because I'm high IQ. No, no, no. That's that's that, that's not it, sir. There are different there are, there are different legal standards, but really it comes down to whether or not um, you can understand the nature of the proceedings at this time. That you have the ability. Over the nature of the proceedings. That you, that you have the ability to assist your attorney uh, in your defense. Uh, he didn't make up that word. That word actually exists, but it is so rarely used, and it is uh, not really applicable to this situation right here, considering that uh, understand means that you comprehend something, something, and overstand basically means to overreach. So your misuse of your words alone are really an indicator of uh, your inability to understand words as a whole, which leads to uh, your uh, competence uh, being uh, at question. So, dude, uh, yeah, keep, use keep misusing those words, and uh, yeah, people will definitely question your competence. To withdraw, sir. I do not. I do, I do not want my legal counsel. Actually, he did not reach out to the person that my relative, my relative, told him to reach out to my father, and he didn't do that. My father was going to tell him that he, we wanted him to withdraw. He did not reach out to my father. He only reached out to Stephen Taylor. Stephen Taylor gave him my my father's number. And he did not do that. So I would like him to withdraw from my case, sir. I have no. I have no. So he doesn't. He, he, he isn't competent enough for me, honestly. So I do have um, 
in addition to the information that's been provided, um, I have a recommended for, recommendation for pretrial services um, that suggests that there are untreated mental health concerns um, and the nature of his criminal history and criminal contacts suggests that there uh, may be um, significant uh, mental uh, health, untreated mental health issues. So, Mr. Stringer, I've heard your um, concern at this time. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to um, I'm not going to grant your request until I get a better idea of uh, what your current mental health status is. So the request at this time is denied, but I will I will consider it again after an evaluation is done. Hey, so so who is judge on my mental health? Because you can't obviously be a judge because, sir, I'm with my law, sir. So first off, I am not, I do not acknowledge myself to be Lindy Stringer. The corporation in capital letters. No, sir. I mean, Mr. Stringer, I, not, I, I appreciate that, and, and, and that's why I let you. I let you make a record, and I appreciate that. I just, you know, based on what I've seen, I, I disagree with your position right now, and we'll get you. Evaluated. You cannot. That's and that's enough for now, and then we'll. we'll have well, I guess the judge had enough of his soft tart gobbledygook and wasn't going to let him run the courtroom like that. So good on you, judge. Good on you. Don't let him talk because he's just going to be spewing out a bunch of uh, bullshit that uh, makes absolutely no sense to anybody with uh, half a brain. Have you evaluated by the? Um, uh, we'll have you evaluated by evaluated by the forensic center, and we'll go from there. Thank you for Mr. Zanuko. Bond is continued. Uh, do we have a new date, Judge? Uh, we'll set it ninety days out. Very good. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Well, stupid is as stupid does, and well, this soft hard ended up getting 90 more days in the jail because, well, uh, he just had to talk out his ass and uh, make sure that they question his competence. If he had uh, done everything properly, then the trial would uh, probably be already over with. I mean, good freaking grief, dude. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to anything. anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, I'm just like for oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the third amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead. Uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so, with that said, um, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hello, ma'am. Hi. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave. Okay. Why? I've been calling after you. You know you are not to be on campus. 
No. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys. You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know, you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.